Hey everyone, it's Lauren, and as you can see, today I have no makeup on my face. I have no foundation on. I did do my eyebrows and my mascara, but other than that, I don't have anything on my face. And that's because today I am going to do a review of the Matcha Mud Mask from the Matcha Reserve. The Matcha Reserve sent me this cute little package. I'm obsessed with the coloring, and you can see they have their logo right here in the Matcha Reserve. I really, really love the packaging. And they included the uh, matcha mud mask and they also included the ultra premium ceremonial organic matcha so this is a tea and uh, for this video at first i'm going to do kind of a first impressions for the mud mask but over the span of the next week i'm going to be using both of these products and then i'll do an update at the end of the week so i can give you guys my full review of how I like the products and what I think of them. So before I get into the review, I just want to talk a little bit about what is matcha. So matcha is a finely grounded powder from the green tea plant. And now you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, green tea, matcha, if matcha comes from green tea, what's the difference? Well, the biggest difference is that the green tea plant is actually shaded three weeks before it's harvested and that's what makes matcha really really special because whenever those plants are shaded you're actually going to get an increase in chlorophyll production when you get an increase in chlorophyll production you're also going to get an increase in antioxidants and nutrients and both of those are really great for your body but antioxidants specifically actually help clean your body and just kind of clean out your system so whenever you drink matcha you're going to notice that you feel really light and you're just going to feel better about your body and that's because of those antioxidants when the plants are shaded yes you're going to get the antioxidants the, the nutrients and the chlorophyll but you're also going to get an introduction of this amino acid called l-theanine I actually had to do a little bit of research on L-theanine because I wasn't sure exactly what it was and when I read the reviews I was so shocked. So the Matcha Reserve has all of their products 100% organic and natural. So L-theanine is natural, organic, comes straight from the matcha and it really helps with anxiety, stress, it can make you feel a lot more calm and it also helps you keep you focused and alert. So I'm really excited to try it because I have finals coming up, I've been stressed, I feel like I can't focus, I have headaches. So I really want to try this matcha to see if it can help me with that because of the L-theanine that's in it. So anyways, after the plants are shaded, they're then harvested and they're actually hand-picked so that way you know you're getting the best quality that the matcha reserve can provide. And after that, the leaves are dried they're grounded up into a powder and that's how we get matcha. The two biggest differences between green tea and matcha is that matcha is shaded when it's grown so that way you're going to get that chlorophyll, the antioxidants, the nutrients, and that amino acid called L-theanine. Whereas green tea, you're not going to get majority of that. The second biggest difference is that when matcha is made, that leaf is completely grounded into a fine powder. So when you consume matcha, you're actually consuming the whole entire leaf. So you're getting 100% of everything that that leaf has to offer. Whereas green tea, whenever you make the tea, you're only getting a certain percentage of what the leaf has to offer because you remove the leaf after you make the tea. So you're actually losing a lot compared to when you drink matcha, which is also 100% organic. So onto the review, you can see that my hair is tied back. I am ready to try this matcha mud mask. I'm dealing with a little bit of acne right now. I've actually been breaking out for the past couple of months. It's not super bad, but it's more than I normally deal with and I'm not sure why. So I'm hoping that this mud mask can actually help me with that. So just a quick rundown about the matcha mud mask from the Matcha Reserve. It's deep skin cleanser, anti-acne, pore reducer, oil control, and anti-aging, which are all great. If you're interested in the weight, it is a 120 grams, which is 4.2 ounces. On the back, it says it's 100% natural, sulfate free. And then the description says, This matcha mud mask penetrates deep into the skin surface to visibly reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, leaving your skin moisturized and healthy. Let the formula minimize your pore size, remove toxins, and rejuvenate cells while supplying your skin with a variety of mineral elements, vitamins, and antioxidants. So the instructions say, apply generously onto a clean face, avoid the eyes and lip areas, leave for 10 to 15 minutes, then rinse with warm water. Repeat two to, time, two to three times a week for the best results. All right, I'm about to try it. I'm so excited. I'll give you guys my first impressions right now. So far, it smells really good. You know, whenever you go to a really expensive high-end beauty store 
and you smell like their anti-aging creams and stuff like that really high-end rich smell this is what it smells like it smells so good but the aroma is not too overpowering which i really really like so i'm just going to use my finger and dip it in here and get a good amount and apply it all over my skin it smells great it's really really thick which i actually like i hate whenever masks are too thin because i find it hard to just apply and uh, put it evenly on my face whereas if a mud mask is thicker it's really easy for me to disperse it evenly it's really really smooth too i like it a lot let me go in with some more i love the color too and that's one thing about matcha whenever you buy matcha you want something that's really really vibrant because the t color tells you a lot about the quality of the product so you can see that this is a very bright green, which means the matcha is very good. I really like how this feels on my face. So far, applying it on my face, it's not irritating my face either, which is great. I don't have sensitive skin, but I notice a lot with different type of masks, depending on the type. It can actually make my skin really red and irritated. And whenever the masks are drying, I actually get really, really itchy. I'm not sure why. But this mask so far, I'm not getting any of that, which is great. So if you have sensitive skin, that's one thing to look out for. I really want to make sure I get a really good coverage. And I love the consistency of this because like I said before, I can just put it on my face and just take one swipe and it evenly disperses, which is really nice. So I quickly went off camera to wash my hands and then just look in the mirror and make sure that I covered pretty much everywhere on my face. I made sure to really get in the crevices of my nose too because I do get acne there and I have really bad pores. So I just made sure to cover pretty much everywhere on my face. So, so far I really, really like the mask. It feels great on my skin. It's really, really thick yet creamy at the same time. So it's really easy to just move around on your face when you're applying it. It smells really good too. Like I said, my skin isn't the most sensitive but sometimes I do get irritated and so far with this mask, I don't have any reactions, so that's really nice and reassuring to me. And I'm not sure if this mask is supposed to completely dry or not. What time is it? Let's see. Right now it's 1.21, so I'm going to leave this on my face for 15 minutes, and then I guess we'll see whenever I wash it off if it hardens or not. While I'm waiting, I just want to talk about this Ultra Premium Ceremonial Organic Matcha real quick from the Matcha Reserve. This is 30 grams, which is one ounce, and the only ingredient is organic matcha green tea. So that's great because you don't, you know that there's no sugar or anything added into this. This is just matcha. So over the next week, I'm going to be drinking one cup of this every single day, and then I'm also going to be using this mud mask, I think maybe every other day because it says use two to three times a week. So I'll probably use this every other day, but at the end of the week, I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts and basically a review of the product and how much I like it and how it affected my body. It's been 15 minutes so far and you can definitely see that the color of the mask actually darkened it. That's so cool. And then also I'm feeling the mask and it did harden. I'm not having any residue on my fingers, but it's not the type of hardening to where it like makes you feel like you can't move your face at all. I hate masks like that just because those are the types that really irritate my skin. So this is great because it's hardening, but it's not like tugging on my skin. It feels really nice touching everywhere. So in the 15 minutes, it really does pretty much dry. I mean, there's a little bit, a little patch on my forehead where I'm getting like the tiniest amount of residue. You can like hardly see it. But other than that, it pretty much dried evenly. I tried to apply it as evenly as I could. And other than that, I think that's it. I don't have any complaints, nothing bad to say so let me go wash this off real quick and I will be right back all right I just washed off my face and oh my goodness so I used both a cloth and just my fingers to take off the mud mask and just kind of see the differences between my hands and the cloth and if you do get this product I really recommend washing it off with your hands at first because that skin to product to skin contact ah uh, it was so soft like it felt just like a moisturizer. I almost felt like I could like just like kind of scrub it on my face and clean my face with it. It was really, really soft and moisturizing. 
With the cloth, obviously, I couldn't get that effect, so I didn't know what I was missing out on until I used my fingers, but my goodness, it felt really, really nice. Anyways, throughout this next week, I'm going to be using both the Mud Mask and the tea, both from the Matcha Reserve, and I'm just going to give you pretty much my final thoughts at the end of the week, and it's going to be the official review and what I think of the products. I'm really excited to see how they're going to work for me, especially for my skin and my body and how I feel mentally as well. So I will see you guys in a week with the update. Hey guys, I'm back with my one week update and I'm going to start with the matcha mud mask. So I don't have any cons about the mud mask. I like it a lot and whenever I was using it, I noticed that it was very moisturizing. It smelled really good and halfway through the process, I actually realized that the mask was drying out my acne. And I was so excited about that because my acne was drying up, I was hoping that it was going to go away, but I ended up breaking out again. And that has nothing to do with the mask. I've just noticed that whenever my acne starts to heal and disappear, I break out instantly again. So I know for a fact that has nothing to do with the mask. It's just something that my body's dealing with. But I was really excited about the acne drying out because even though it was drying out my acne spots, it wasn't drying out any other parts of my face. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I definitely think that this is a mud mask that all skin types can use, whether you're dry, oily, or a combination. This mud mask is really good because it is moisturizing, but not in a way to where it makes your face oily. So I think that's really nice. And then on top of that, I do want to say that if you have sensitive skin, I would definitely consider getting this mud mask because it is 100% natural and organic. So it's something that's soothing to the face and I don't think that it will irritate a lot of people. I can't necessarily say because I'm just speaking from my personal experience, but I do think it's worth a try. So onto the powder matcha, which is the tea. That was actually my favorite product. And I was really shocked because I thought that I was going to end up liking the mud mask more than the tea, but it was the other way around and I was kind of surprised. I didn't really like the taste of the tea, that's just my preference, so I did add in some sugar. The taste, it's similar to green tea, yet sweeter with like a stronger taste. It's really hard to explain, it has a very distinct taste and I think that you just kind of have to have a feel for it whether you like it or not. But regardless of the taste, I was able to put that aside and still drink the product every single day throughout the week and I'm going to continue drinking it because it just made me feel so good about my body, especially usually, okay, throughout the day around 12 to 3 p.m., for some reason I get really tired and it's hard for me to stay awake and focus. And throughout this week, I haven't felt that at all, which was so strange. And I just felt really good about my body and I actually did end up losing weight. So this tea is not supposed to make you lose weight. It's not a detox tea. It's not supposed to clean out your system and make you go to the bathroom a whole bunch, but it can boost your metabolism, therefore helping you lose weight. And I lost about a pound and a half. I was 116 before and then I weighed myself this morning and I was 114.8. And so both of those times when I weighed myself, I was completely naked. It was first thing in the morning, so there's nothing in my system to add on extra weight. And I was really surprised because in a week, that's a lot of weight to lose and I didn't change my dieting at all. I ate spaghetti, I ate a bunch of potatoes and chips, I had Chick-fil-A, like I was pigging out, I was eating what I normally do. And so the fact that I was still able to lose weight was pretty cool. So final thoughts, I definitely think if you have the money, you should try the tea. I think it's so good. Uh, taste wise, okay, obviously I don't really care for it that much, but just the effects that it has on your body is so amazing that I definitely recommend it. The mud mask, it's a really nice product, but I'm not going to say that you need to go out and buy it unless you do want to add it in your collection to try it. So between the two products, I am actually going to recommend buying the premium matcha, which is the tea over the mud mask. Because the tea, you can obviously drink it, add it to your food, but since you are getting that matcha powder, you can actually make your own mud mask out of that. So you're actually killing two birds with one stone. Whereas the mask, yes, it's nice, but between the two, I think you're going to get more for your money out of the tea. I just want to give a huge thanks to the Matcha Reserve for giving me this opportunity to try out their products. They're an absolutely amazing company and I can't wait to see where they go in the future and what new products they're going to bring to their website. 
And I want to say that if you want to try out any of their products, you can go to www.thematchareserve.com. I'll link that down in the description. And during checkout, if you enter the code Lauren Matcha, you actually get 15% off of your entire order. So I'm not making any money off of that code. That's all for you guys. So that way you can save money and try out their products. That was it for this video and I hope you all enjoyed. I had a lot of fun learning about matcha and I want to say once again thank you to the Matcha Reserve. I will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching. Bye!